Hello, everybody. This this is Lee Bird reacts. Welcome back to another get another video. Now, I'm going to react into I'm going to be reacting to the top ten creepiest video game mysteries of all time. Here we go. It's time to put our detective hats on, guys and gals. Welcome to watch. Well, sorry if I'm not doing the face cam because I don't want to go through that that, that struggle with doing the face cam. So sorry about that. It's Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest video game mysteries. For this list, we'll be looking at moments in video games that had us questioning whether or not they were intentional, or if they were bugs, easter eggs, or had a hidden meaning that hasn't been discovered yet. Whether they're solved or not, if it's got your brow furrowed and sends shivers down your spine, it's eligible for this list. The right oh, man no. in the wrong place can make all the oh, difference no, in the world. Number 10, Hell Valley Shadow People, Super Mario Galaxy 2. <laughs> While the Shiverburn Galaxy is the official name of the location where you can find these terrifying creatures, game files dictate that Hell Valley was its original name, and it's not hard to see why. Extremes of heat and cold are said to be contained in different circles of hell in certain scriptures, as are demons, which might be why these sky trees or shadow people observe Mario from the skybox. These terrifying figures have elongated limbs, open mouths, and empty sockets where their eyes should be. Why they're placed there? No one truly knows. Number 9. The Fetus from Hell. Earthbound. There's no denying that Earthbound is a weird game. Sure, it's got cute graphics and fun characters, but its visuals and some of its concepts are just bizarre. It's also strangely mature for a kid's game, subtly exploring themes really? of violence, abuse, and depression. And for a lot of parts, it leaves a lot to the imagination. Many of these themes have been brought forth as a manner of controversy. Still, they pale compared to the theory that Gygus is a fetus when you encounter him, which had a lot of players wondering if it had a significant meaning. While this has been disproven by Shigesato Itoi, the boss's appearance is still something that can't be ignored. Number 8. Hero Brine. Oh, Minecraft. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, okay. That makes sense. A mysterious creature in the woods that many have sighted, but none have been able to prove? Step away, Bigfoot. We're talking about Hero Brine here. Hero Brine is thought to look like your default character, only with white glowing eyes, and is the cause for many mysterious happenings in your world. Items going missing, land structure changing, craters, tunnels, and mysterious pyramids are some of the things Hero Brine is thought to be the cause of. While there has been a lot of fake footage of the myth, some still believe him to be real. Number seven, the number station, yeah, like, is, Fallout Three. I don't know. This is Margaret, and you. Because like I, I don't even know if Hero Brine even is real or not. Because I, 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 I don't know. You're listening to oh, him. Fallout Three. Oh, I've heard of it. This freaky mystery originated as a creepypasta and found that sweet spot of being just believable enough that it brought on many believers as they tried to replicate the events. After Three Dog is murdered and the player meets a few other prerequisites, the GNR station supposedly becomes a numbers station which spouts numbers in Morse code. Well, prepare to be enlightened. Players who have supposedly cracked the code found a few of the messages to be trivial or even comical, with others having a more sinister undertone as some even predicted, falsely, the deaths of prominent people. It's obvious you're narrow focus and can't see the bigger picture. Number 6, 1987, there we Five go. Nights at Freddy's. That's, that's the one. That's the good one. Oh yeah, there is one thing I want to talk about, is that, on, is that in two days, I'll actually be doing... The, oh, I will actually be starting the 
Final Fantasy Freddy's 2 series. So, just... So, just be up for that and just keep on checking my channel to see... On, um, on the 5th of October... To see if I have that video posted or not. Because in two days... I will be doing a series of it in two days, so be so be up for that. While the series may have overstayed its welcome, according to some, the first game was a cultural phenomenon, and to this day is still a terrifying experience. After you beat Night 6, you're able to jump back in and set specific difficulty levels for each animatronic. If you set the difficulty of each animatronic to 1, 9, 8, and 7, Golden Freddy pops up and crashes the game. What? Oh my god! The of these animatronic monstrosities has become quite expansive, and while we think we know who the jump-scaring Golden Freddy really is, there are no clear-cut answers at this stage. Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, that's very mysterious. Number five, who is the G-Man, Half-Life series? Well, let's just say your hour has come again. Speculating on who the G-Man is probably won't fill the void of not having Half-Life 3 in our lives, but it does keep us involved in the universe. While he looks and sounds like a man, sort of, it's safe to say he isn't one. Ms. Vats, you wouldn't need all that. To imprison Gordon Freeman. Oh. So, who are you? He keeps an eye on you throughout. Oh, so I will rule. Okay, now I really want Half Life Alex now. I really, I really want that game now because that, because like that game is really new, and I would actually want it really badly. So, I don't know. Maybe I might. I don't know, I might actually go ahead and do a series on that game, I don't know, tell me. ...the first game, and utilizes your services in the second. We don't know his true motivations, only that he is a puppeteer, orchestrating events to play out the way he wants them to play out, to serve his and his employer's purpose. No! I, I just want to go home! Send me home! I'm afraid... You misunderstand the situation, Ms. <laughs> Number four. What happens to the Chozo? Oh, Metroid. The Metroid series. <laughs> While the concept of an ancient advanced race that has mysteriously vanished isn't quite an original one, the depth of the Chozo history does make it a more engaging mystery to solve. <laughs> We know that they created the Metroid and Mother Brain to combat another enemy before they were turned on by their creation. What we don't know is why they have mysteriously gone missing. And not too long ago, too, as the surviving members of the race were saved by Samus at one point. Hopefully, we'll find out in a future title. Number three, what's going on? Inside! inside. Oh, I know that game! Oh, yeah, inside! Okay, Inside is might be another game I I'm, I'm, I might do a series on as well. You know you've got a good game on your hands when the entire thing is a creepy mystery with nothing spelled out to you. The environments and level design do paint an unnerving picture that leaves a lot for us to interpret. You know what's weird about it? Me um, inside kind of reminds me of, of some sort of mind of, control uh, is at the really surface really of everything, everything, but we also have a giant amalgamation of bodies rolling around at the end, and a lot of the facility is underwater, home to long-haired creatures that try to pull you under, which leaves a lot of questions open. Exactly. Number two, Karazan Crypt. 
World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Oh, I love that game. I've never played it, but it's good. The crypt, located in Deadwind Pass, is a locked-off area that can only be accessed by glitching through the portcullis or walls. It's an unfinished piece of content that is home to all manners of horror. That bell bay, that bell bay, that bell bay. There are thousands of skeletal remains at the bottom of a mysterious well, and there is a section of the crypt that features corpses hanging upside down underwater. What did Blizzard have planned? Could it be connected to the children of Goldshire who walk around in the formation of a pentagram? It's a lot darker than most of the released content, which definitely has people curious. Number one, the Polybius Arcade Machine. What? Polybius. Um, what? Did this arcade cabinet ever exist? It supposedly hit the market in the 80s, and people who played it experienced all sorts of ailments, which allegedly led to their end for some. Polybius might be every lead that I've ever gotten out exhausted. That's not to say there ain't someone still out there. Others say it was used as a form of mind control, or to weed out the weak-minded to reveal strong-willed candidates for military conscription. Men in black suits were reported to download data from the machines. While a lot of the stories may have a hint of truth to them, Polybius remains an urban legend. For now. These games are so old! Who got these high scores, pilgrims? <laughs> hmm. I never saw this one before. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Well, I'm going to end this for right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I will see you guys soon. Peace out.